okay uh, we talked about uh, some paths we, we talked about how, how we can use it how we can use the conditional statement to find the some positions that we really need uh, I used an example for designing a shading I showed you a half broken component that I'm working on it for, for shading design uh, which is going to be a really useful component eventually so let me get rid of it but what I want to show you right now is how you can use uh, this data and the sun paths and the sun location to do a shadow study. So let's not do all these sun positions and disconnect this all too. And no conditional statement for now and let's not to do this. So let's keep it simple. Let's let's say we want to see to do a shadow study for this time, like 21st of December, 12 o'clock. So there are different ways that you can think about uh, to do the to draw the shading, to draw the shadows in in Rhino. I tried multiple ways, but I couldn't find a single way that the uh, be really the one that I want to implement but I mean meanwhile you can use this component which is sunlight average uh, analysis component to, to do something similar so what a sunlight average component does is it counts the number of suns that you can see during a period they usually do the analysis like th this analysis comes from uh, uh, an old way of kind of an old standard for mainly planning uses. There, there, there was a good discussion on Radiance Group. I will provide the link for this video so you can read it that Andy described it to me uh, like what is the history behind this and it's still useful because there are multiple codes that ask you for for example for two, two, two hours minimum of sunlight during a special day like 21st of December so if, if you want for example do a study for that code this is how you do that so you need the test geometries let me select everything here and then I connect them here as my geometries and I don't want to have for you. And then uh, I need to set up the grid size. The denser the grid is, the more accurate the study is. So let's just start for four meters and distance from base. They are not crazy measures, so 0 0.1 should work fine for us. So if I don't connect the sum vectors and just run it, it will work and it will give me the test points actually and the mesh. I did that to see how dense it is. Oh, okay, so it's not dense at all. Hmm. One. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Or even two. Okay, one. Let's try it. If it was so dense, I will just change it. So now I can run the study. The only thing I need is the meshes here and the geometry so I can get the legend. So as, so as soon as I connect the sum vectors it will calculate that and as I said they usually calculate it for one day so let's do it for for the December 21st all the hours oops hours so these are the sum positions for December 21st I connected here as sum vectors and here we go so I got the number of hours that I can see the sun. Oh, and it's a little bit weird because it's 9 and then I have 10. So what can I do is I can use this and to customize and let's get a little bit of space. So uh, 
the number of segments was 10. Okay, now it makes more sense. So the blue one means the dark blue, I get no sunlight ever, then one, two, three. So wherever the building is it is two color, I'm not doing a good job if, if the, the code is two hours. So this is how you can use the sun pad, sun, sunlight ever component. But well, what sunlight ever really do is it tells me if I can see the sun or not, right? And and that's exactly what shading is. Like when when you're in shadow, you cannot dis see the sun. So if I change the color here, it probably shows you something that you already know. So I think I have one here, right? I do with it. No. Let's take these two. Oops. And bring them here. And then let me change the color set to this. And then connect it here. Oops. And reverse the list. So let me reverse the numbers here. So now you can see it basically now it gives me the shadow range. Let's let me make the grid size even denser. This is basically what shadow range of study is. If I look at it from the top. So I had nine hours and it tells me like this one gets zero hour, more, more, more. I mean this is not a good example like if I had multiple billing but you could see it better but now if I just do it for one hour of the year this is what shadow is so the places that can't see the sun are all black and the places that can't see the sun are white I mean I, I know this is not the best way of doing that and I, I will try to find a better way but like this is the way that you can do it uh, with with the current sun pass. So let me change the mirror and let me set this to parallel. So hopefully it's going to be faster. So we can get it almost real time. Mm -hmm. Ever. So you see, right? So that's it, I think, for now. And uh, I will try to to record more tutorials more frequently. Uh, let me know. I mean, like it's it's a new experience to me to talk to screen. Actually, like when you talk to people, you can get the questions and you can get the reactions, and it's much much easier. I found it really hard to talk to yourself and to the screen. Uh, hopefully, it's good enough for you guys to to get us started. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.